Another day in London town. I was going to make a video of the settings from the camera, but um, a thing has popped up at work where I've got to go to France, but the thing that's happened now is the, the flight has been cancelled, so uh, I've come into London to see if I can get some street shots, but I don't know, the weather's a bit grey, it's not looking brilliant, but we'll give it a go and see what happens, but hopefully I'm bringing my camera along when we do eventually get to France, which is tomorrow, we might be able to get some pictures there, so... We'll see. I found this, found this little spot just outside this hotel by Tower Bridge, and it's not too bad. It's a shame there's no sun, really, because if there was, it would make a good picture, but now there's a car park right in the way, so I don't know if we'll get anything else, but I got this one shot. Anyway. We'll keep looking and uh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to get much today, but we didn't have anything else to do because our job got, or our flight got cancelled, so anyway, onwards and upwards, let's go. If I explained properly, but I was supposed to be working in France today, the flight got cancelled, so we're just heading all around London, got a, got a train into London, trying to get some street pictures. We've come to the History Museum and trying to get a few shots here. Not necessarily all street photos, just killing time really for the day because a new flight doesn't go until tomorrow. And there is, there is some quite good light in this museum actually. So hopefully we'll get some good pictures. Hi guys, um, I don't know if you could really hear me when I was talking earlier in the video, so it's just a recap. Um, I was going to do a video about settings, but then work called me and now I'm in, well, I'm supposed to be going to France. Long story short, my flights got cancelled, so I'm still in the UK, but I did take my camera and everything with me because I thought, oh, I might get a chance to take some photographs some street and uh, well we didn't get to France so we got the train went into London and made a few pictures um, I think I got I don't know I think I might have got three or four uh, half decent shots and so it kind of made it worthwhile we wanted to kill some time because our flights now aren't until tomorrow so we're back at the hotel now and I'm just gonna go and get um, my dinner, so I'm starving, and hopefully our flight won't get cancelled tomorrow and we'll get to France. And maybe, I'm not sure what's about the place where we're staying. We're not too far from Paris, but I don't think we're gonna have time to go there. If, if our flight hadn't been cancelled, we'd have been there now, today, Sunday afternoon. But unlucky for me, I didn't get to go so <clears throat> uh, yeah so if there's anything around the local area where we're staying I might get a few pictures there so yeah I'll probably check back in with you then and don't worry I will do the video for the settings on my Fuji 
100F and uh, the X70, but they'll, the camera's set up the same. Uh, just, I'll go through it anyway, the ISO and that. Um, yeah, we'll go through that later. Anyway, I'll check in again when we either get to France or on the way, if I get to take some pictures at the airport. I don't know what they're like about taking pictures in an airport. But if you're like me and you like street photography, but you've got a full-time job, it's always hard to try and fit things in. I mean, I do work a lot of weekends when it's busy. And ideally, like a Saturday is good for me where I live because then there's plenty of people about and there's normally quite a bit of stuff going on. So I always try and aim to get a few Saturdays off here and there and uh, get out with the camera. But, um, I don't know really. It's, it's a tricky one when you, when you have got a full-time job because you know, you can't just work, come home, oh hi wife, hi children, and I'm going out and taking photographs. You've got to fit everything else in as well. So yeah, you have to find time for these individual things that you've got to do. But anyway, that's enough for me babbling on. I'll check in again with you tomorrow and hopefully we'll get some more pictures. See you later. Another quick catch up, a different hotel room. We've made it to France, yes. Um, and I've been working today. Uh, the last time I spoke, I was saying, I was hoping to take some videos in the airport, which uh, as soon as I got through check-in and into the departure lounge, yeah, I uh, took a few videos, uh, took a few videos, what am I saying? I took a few pictures and no security or anybody bothered me at all. Um, it was quite busy, so there was some potential for some people shots uh, in a kind of travel kind of nature. That's the kind of theme we were kind of going for. So trying to incorporate or show it was people traveling and you know, being in an airport, people have got cases, rucksacks, that kind of thing. But we, you, you see what I mean. I put some pictures up um, while I'm talking. So, but I think I got a few good shots because uh, I was in Stansted Airport, and when you're in the departure lounge there, it's quite big and it's all shops, as you know, if you've been to any airport, and the sun actually came out so we had some good sun coming through the roof so I was able to get some kind of high contrast and silhouette type stuff and shadow type things so I thought that went quite well um, yeah uh, I think there was a couple of images in there that I liked and uh, I'm using the uh, Fuji X100F that's the only camera I bought with me and um, <clears throat> I think I've completely thrown myself off track of what I was going to say. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't remember what I was going to say. That's the only camera I've brought with me. Um, yeah, I, I was going to say, I think there's like two or... Th I mean, I took quite a few images, but I think there's two or three that I really like. There's one where I was... There was a lovely bit of light coming through the ceiling creating a like a window light on the floor and I was just waiting for some type of subjects to come through and I managed to catch this little girl on one of those I don't know if you've ever seen them they're those little cases what they have for kids and they have wheels on and they can sit on them and move along she was on that I don't know she must have been three, four years old, I'm not too sure really. Because I didn't really, I was just kind of looking in the viewfinder because I could look at the screen, but where it was quite bright in there when the sun was coming through, it was easier to use the viewfinder, which I prefer. Um, and she was kind of right on the edge of where the shade and the, the light were coming in through the ceiling. And I kind of got half of her going through and I don't think, because I can only really see it on my camera screen and I haven't really had a good look at it, but I don't think there's anyone else in the, in the shot. So it's quite a nice, clean image with no distractions or nothing, because if you've seen the recent stuff I'm doing, it's quite dark or light. And so whatever's in the shadows, you can't really see. So that was probably my number one image, I think, from that. Although, 
I've got some others which are good shadows, which are quite good when you when you turn the picture. So there's a few of those in there, and I quite like those. And there was one with a guy, I was waiting at this bit of light as it came to a point, and miraculously, this guy walked along, he had a light colored case, and he stopped right on the point of the light where it then went to shadow, right there, where I could just see, where I could see his case, and maybe his arm was in the light, and nothing else, I quite like that one. So. Yeah, we got quite a few good images in there, and um, I was using, I was, I was, I was on manual because it's easier to set it for when the light was out. So everything was set for when the bright light was coming through the room. So if I saw anything else, you know, I'd have to quickly adjust the shutter speed to uh, to get a shot of, of anything else if the light went down. But mostly, this, these were the type of shots I was looking for with the, with the bright light coming through. So I'd set the camera for that, and I think I was on, I don't know, quite a low ISO, 400, something like that. I'll, I'll double check, and I'll put it on the screen, because uh, I can't remember what it was without looking. Um, so that's, that was what I was using as far as exposure and everything goes. And... Yeah, because it was easier then, I could then walk around and if the light came through, camera was set and if I saw something else, I could take another shot really quick. So, because in, I don't know why people must leave it late, they're in the airport, everyone seems to be in a rush, so no one's really stopping. Uh, you get a few, but you know, you get a few people stopping, like that guy stopped right there in the light, but most people are rushing through the light, which was good, but you had to be quick, so yeah. Um, that all went pretty well, but now I'm here in France and I'm kind of working at a, a small airport down from uh, Charles de Gaulle and it's kind of industrial kind of area, so there's nothing really here. There's no outdoor cafes at what you'd associate with France and that because we're not like in actual uh, uh, Paris or anywhere like that, we're, we're about 40 miles away. Um, so there's nothing really uh, worth, well, you could probably get some pictures like that, but it's kind of industrial. I don't know what the area is like. I don't know if I really want to be wandering around with all my camera stuff. Um, but we're hoping we'll finish our job on a Thursday. And we're still here Friday. And our flight is late afternoon. So if we do finish work Thursday and we have Friday to ourselves, we're hoping to get into Paris and we'll be able to get a few pictures there hopefully because the forecast is sunny. If we get a chance to get into Paris then I'll vlog a little bit more and you'll see that on this video of course. Um, uh, until then, we'll see you later. And if I don't get to do any more in Paris, I'll shoot some more when I get home and explain to you some of the pictures that are on this video. And if that's what I'm going to do, that will come next, after this bit. Okay, brilliant. We've got that sorted. So until then, catch you later.